Welcome to the Yahaha Tutorials. Today, we're going to explain how to apply physics to objects in Yahaha using the rigid body component. And since the rigid body is a little bit complicated, we're going to split it into two episodes for you to watch. So let's begin. The rigid body component allows objects to behave more realistically by responding to physical properties such as gravity and collisions. To simulate physics, an object must have a rigid body component and at least one non-mesh collider assigned to it. To create a rigid body component, click Component, then Rigid Body. Here are the rigid body properties that you can adjust. Density is related to the mass of the object. A higher density will make the object heavier and more resistant to movement. Linear drag is related to the amount of resistance the object experiences when moving through a fluid or something such as air. A higher value will make the object slower. Angular drag is related to the amount of resistance an object experiences while rotating. A higher value will make the object rotate slower. However, the prerequisite for implementing this function is that there must be a collision between two objects. Avatars are not affected by physics. If you select Disable Gravity, the object won't be affected by gravity. You can also lock the position to prevent the object from moving in a particular direction, or lock the rotation to prevent the object from rotating in a particular direction. Please keep in mind that you can add a rigid body component to an empty object. However, you can't add this component to any child objects in the hierarchy displayed in the Explorer window. And child objects don't inherit this component from their parent object. In the next episode, we will discuss how to add a force to an object with rigid body. This process can be used to simulate physical motion, such as creating flying or bouncing effects in a game. Thank you for watching. See you next time.